What is the difference between a saddle that costs £150 or one that costs £50? I'm going to compare them in this video. So I think when we first get into cycling, we are made to believe that the more you spend on something, the lighter it's going to be, the comfier it's going to be, just all around it's going to be a better product. And I want to compare these saddles just to kind of show the difference between having to spend £150 on a saddle or £50. So the first one that I'm going to look at is the expensive one. I know a load of people are going to be like, £150 on a saddle, that is ridiculous. I'm not going to, I'm not going to lie, I'm not going to pretend that it's not. It's a heck of a lot of money to spend. I know some people that won't even spend that on a bike itself, never mind just a saddle. So as you can see, this one is the Seller SMP and it's a light version 209 and if you're familiar with this brand, with this company, they are renowned for having this huge cutout down the front and the curved kind of uh, nose and it's made from synthetic leather, the white version. The black version of all the professional range are made from leather. However, the colour versions, so like the red, the blue, the yellow, the white are all synthetic. So if you're vegan like me, make sure you get the, the white one. So yeah, it's synthetic, it's kind of been pinned into place there, as you can see. Um, the actual shell, this has got carbon composite in it, so it is partly made of carbon. So if carbon's your thing, then you may want to spend 150 quid on a saddle. Um, the rails are, I'm just checking, yeah, the, the stainless steel, they're not carbon, stainless steel rails. Um, it's nice, it's got actual stitching, it's got stitched onto there, so it does feel like kind of quite luxurious, I would say, and you get this made in Italy tag, which I think the whole thing with Italy, people pay more because it's made in Italy. Um, so, yeah, that's that one, a very, qu very quick, very brief review of that one done. Um, oh, that one weighs 300, just over 300 grams, I think it's 306 grams, so yeah, 300 grams. Second saddle I'm going to uh, look at now is the Bontrega, I think it's called Ajna, A-J-N-A, -A. I'm not sure that's how you pronounce it. So yeah, this is made from like a very similar kind of pleather, synthetic leather um, on the top. It's also got like alloy stainless steel um, rails. And that's pretty much all there is to that one. It's just got like a plastic base. I couldn't actually find what the, the bottom, the actual base of the shell is made from. Um, but yeah, it's got a similar cutout. It is very flat, this one though. Um, as you can see, it's quite flat. Um, but yeah, that is pretty much all there is to say about that. No, so this wasn't, this, I can't even get my words out. This one is actually lighter, so this one weighs 256, double check, yeah, 256 grams, so it is a fair bit lighter than the expensive one. So first off there, um, the more expensive one isn't necessarily the lightest one. I mean, you can't really tell between I mean, 50, 60 grams, it's not really gonna, you're not really gonna tell that much, but if you wanna get the weight down of your bike, then that one is gonna be um, lighter. And that actually comes in three different sizes, so the smallest one will be lighter, you get the gist. Um, so here's my thinking because if you've been watching my channel you know that I've been having some issues with my previous Diva Gel Flow um, Seller Italia model. So I've just basically been trying loads of different saddles and part of me thought that the more I spent on a saddle the comfier it would be and that is just not the case and I want to share this because I think that we all do think that, that if you spend 150 quid on a saddle, potentially it's going to be more comfortable, it's going to be worth the money. And it's hard because these are completely different saddles. They're not even like, they're not even a similar shape, they're not even a similar design. Um, but just the cost aspect of it, um, the cost isn't just going to get something comfier for you. And I think if you have a saddle that costs £20 and it fits and it works perfectly for you, then stick with it. You do not need to spend excessive amounts of money on a saddle to have a comfortable saddle. This one is actually comfier than this one for me. It might not be for you, like I say, everybody's different. That's the frustrating thing with saddles and that's why we have to spend so much money trying the damn things out because you just don't know until you try them. So, um, yeah. I mean, yes, there might be more effort, there might be more time, there might be more, 
you know, more personal tissues with this one, maybe that's why it's more money. But a saddle to me is a saddle and if it fits you and you're comfortable on it, you do not need to be spending that much money on saddles. Also, I want to like, I want you to tell me what your favourite saddle is. Like I say, it's not always going to be the same for everybody else, but I would really like to know some other saddle recommendations because this one's okay for now. I'm going to try it out, see how I get on with it. But um, this one's going to be going back. So you do not need to spend that much money on saddles. So I do hope this helps. If you've got any tips with saddles, then let me know. And post your favourite saddle below. See you next video.